Hi, I'm Shana, a nurse from NUH. In this video, I'll be sharing tips on how to care for percutaneous endoscopy gastrostomy tube, or a PG tube, at home. A PG tube is a feeding tube that is inserted into the stomach so that milk and medicine can be delivered directly to the stomach. It is needed for those who are unable to swallow properly or eat normally through the mouth because of a certain conditions such as Parkinson's disease, motor neuron disease, or head and neck cancer. During the stay, our healthcare professionals will train you and your identified caregiver on how to care for the PEG tube. I will share general tips as well as how to care for a PEG tube insertion site during two different phases. One, the first two weeks after insertion, and second, a long-term tube care after the first two weeks. In general, the patient or caregiver need to do three types of checks daily. Firstly, check insertion site to make sure there is no redness or leakage. The second check is the tube position. You need to take note of the marking number to ensure it has not migrated too far out or too far inside. You can also tape the PG tube to your abdomen to keep it in place. The third check is to make sure the external bumper around the tube sits comfortably on your skin region. It is important to ensure the stoma caused by the tube insertion matures and heals well in the first two weeks after the insertion. During this period, please take note of the following. First, the tube needs to be rotated 360 degrees once per day. Second, the gap between the skin and external tube bumper should be 10 mm. You can shower, but it's important to keep the tube and the insertion site dry. You can use a plastic bag to cover it when showering. Discharges from the stoma around the PG tube is common during the first one to two days. The wound should heal in about two to three weeks. In the first two weeks, the dressing should be changed daily, and the change can be done after your shower. For the dressing of wound, you will need a disposable dressing set, normal saline, and a tape. Before changing the dressing, please ensure that the hands are washed with soap and water and then dried. Clean the wound using cotton ball with saline and gently remove any discharges or crust. Dry the area with a cotton ball. Slide the gauze between the wound and the bumper. Secure the bumper with a tape. You will have an appointment to see either the doctor or the nurse within the first two weeks of the tube insertion to ensure the wound is sealing well and you have no issues with feeding or wound care. After two weeks, daily rotation of the tube is no longer needed. The gap between the skin and the tube bumper need not be so tight now. You can use a finger to estimate the recommended gap of about 1 cm. Daily cleaning of the wound with a dressing set is no longer required. You can start showering as per normal. It is, however, important to dry the tube and site after having showered. It is common to run into problems when you're taking care of the PEG tube. Do not be worried. A problem that may encounter is a blockage of the tube. If you have trouble flushing or pouring the feeds or medication down the tube, try to use warm water to irrigate the tube. Remember not to use a soda or carbonated beverages as it may cause breakdown of the tube. It is common to experience hypergranulation when red, thick, and moist skin protrudes above the wound site. It is a normal skin reaction and does not need to be treated unless it is causing pain or severe bleeding. However, you should contact your PG nurse during office hour or seek immediate medical attention at the nearest a &E after office hour for the following situation. Persistent leakage from the wound site, dislodgement of the tube, or if the tube tests. Severe abdominal pain, especially after feeds. 
severe bleeding from the wound site, signs of infection such as pus from the wound, a high fever, temperature of 38.5 degrees Celsius or above, persistent nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or a constipation that lasts for five days or more. Clogging of the tube such that it can no longer be used and need to be replaced or removed. We hope this video has been useful to you. To find out more about BG2, click on the video or NUH website below or talk to your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching and goodbye.